Uh, if you could dim the lights, Calvin, please. Uh, let's pray for our country right now. Uh, uh, it's sad how there's so much hate in our world today. Uh, the truth is, uh, someone tried to kill uh, Trump yesterday, and, but there's other people that want him dead, not just him. But the sad thing is, there's some people that are, quote, Republicans that want Biden dead. I hope he dies of old age. I hate that guy. The Bible tells us clearly that we are supposed to pray for our leaders. Whether they're a Republican or a Democrat, we are to pray for our leaders. That's what the scripture tells us. So I want us to pray for Biden. We're going to pray for Trump. And I was talking to Ryan. You know who we really need to pray for? The person that just that died yesterday. For his family. An innocent man died yesterday. He went to go to a, a political rally to support the, the person he likes. Nobody deserves to die like that. So an innocent person died yesterday. Who? So the guy in the stands. The guy in the stands. He got hit in the so head. the bullet hit Trump's ear and went past Trump and, and nailed somebody in the forehead. Oh, and, really? and they died instantly. Yeah, so there were, the, there, we're talking about in the news how the president almost died, and that's sad. He, uh, but there was someone that actually died. Yeah, innocent people. person two died. People. And there's two people in critical condition. Yeah, and so I'm not trying to get political at all. This is church, but we are going to pray. So let's pray for our country. I'm going to ask that you pray for my father. He's having a heart condition. He needs heart surgery. And I talked to him yesterday, have you made your peace with God? And he, he told me, I pray a little bit before I go to bed, but I don't pray all the time. Um, so pray for my, his name's Abel Ochoa. Pray for my, my daddy has heart issues. Uh, anybody else need prayer? So uh, let's pray for each other, okay? Father God, I just want to uh, pray for everybody that raised their hands. I want to pray for my dad that you just heal his heart, you heal his relationship with you, and that he can make peace with you before he dies. Uh, and I pray he doesn't die anytime soon. I just pray that he'll get the surgery he needs. And I also want to pray for uh, those that are in critical care right now. There's two people in critical care that, that got shot yesterday. Uh, Pennsylvania, and I just pray healing. We pray healing upon them. I pray you heal President Trump, his ear, and what he's going through right now emotionally. He almost lost his life yesterday. It's a miracle that he didn't die yesterday. And I pray that you stop the hate in our world. There's a lot of hate coming from both sides, from the Republicans and Democrats. We're not called to hate people. We're called to love people. We're called to love our enemies. And so, Lord, I pray that uh, we can start praying for our leaders. And I just pray uh, for Obama. I mean, not Obama. But yeah, pray for him. That you watch, watch over him and Biden. Just pray uh, you help Biden. Protect Biden, Lord, from political violence as well. And uh, we pray that uh, I know the election's around the corner. And I pray that there will be no more violence. We, we all pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, you guys ready to worship? Yes. Yeah, amen. Let us stand.
Yes. You've touched our lives in some place, in some time, in each of our lives, in this journey here on earth. You've touched us and brought us to you in, to have relationship with you. And this morning, we come to worship you in spirit and in truth and, and pray that you would actually help us do that throughout this whole day, Father. Uh, I love the song, Lord God, it never grows old. There's joy in the house of the Lord. Amen. We worship you this morning. And we thank you, Father. Bless you, God. We worship the God who was. Worship the God who is. Worship the God who ever. Down. 
Amen. Hallelujah. We worship you. We worship you, Father. And we thank you for not failing in our lives. You don't do things the way we want them done. But as long as we keep our eyes on you, Father, you're our strong tower, our defender, our deliverer, our healer. You've promised to meet, Lord God, all our needs. You've promised to take us down this walk through this life on earth, Lord. And Jesus has accomplished so much for us. Just keep our eyes on him. I'm so grateful to him for that day. 
Otherwise, I have no idea where I'd be today. And it's the same with some of you. He has saved us from who we were. And He's given us a new life. He's given us His personality. He's adopted us into His family. He's our way maker, our strong power and deliverer. Amen. We worship you, Lord Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
That is who you are. That is who you are. That is who you are. I worship you. We worship you. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We thank you for your presence here this morning. We thank you for your faithfulness to us. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. I really feel that we need to spend some more time with Jesus. I don't spend enough time in prayer throughout the week. And church is a place for prayer. So the next five minutes, if we could make our chairs, our altars, if we could spend some one-on-one -on -one quality time with God in prayer. And if you need prayer for anything, I'm here for you. My wife's here for you. I have some anointing oil. I love to pray for you. So if, if you want prayer, you can come forward. My wife and I will pray for you. But if you want to just spend some alone time with God and make your chair, your altar, this is your time with Jesus.
Amen. Well, uh, we're going to get into the study. If everybody can uh, go over here uh, to the table, and we're going to get into God's Word.